Labor Day and I'm laboring. So we're heading over to a call where they need it on Wednesday, but in case they need parts, we're gonna go check it out today and see what's going on. I guess it's a little concession trailer and they built it this summer and now it don't work. So we've gotta go look at it. So we're heading that direction now, see what's going on. And tell me to put my seat back forward. Well, I don't bend that way. If I could put my seat back forward, I'd be in porno movies. The comedy network really makes things better when everything seems like it sucks. So uh, we're about there. We're kind of heading through the cornfields here. Everything's an adventure. So we're just about there. Let's go take a look, see what's going on. That cooler here, it's not running. Oil looks clean. Got a nice plate there to protect it from flying debris as they're going down the road. Said it worked the other day, but it's not working now. So we got the drain there. Just kind of goes over the side. But the compressor's not kicking on. Okay, so we finally got it opened up. Thermostat looks like it's set for about 34 ish. Question is, is it in a defrost? Contactor's not pulled in. That would kind of suck if it was in a defrost. Then you make a special trip all the way out here for nothing. This might be one of the silliest calls out there. Band runs. Just bad timing. There it goes. A little vibration trap going on there. Amazing. So far it appears that it's just the deep rust clock. As you've seen, I just turned it, set up the three cycles there, 60 minutes apiece. No receiver. Yeah, there is a sight glass there though. Maybe we can get lucky and have to add some refrigerant to it that way. Yeah, I think it feel like we actually did something today. coming through very good. Let her use a little bit of oil until it's been oiled plenty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's no receiver on this thing, but the fact is we need to have a solid column of liquid to the TXV. And so it's a little bit low. Next question is, it's an 08 with alkaline benzene oil. What refrigerant are we using? That'll be the next one. Two pounds of R22. So it right there. Two pounds R22 is what it looks like. So we do know what refrigerant it is now. Probably should write that up a little bit more obvious so we can see it. Yeah, we're just going to give it a squirt. All right, the evaporator is running. 35 degrees. My question is, is our head pressure so high that it's not true? We're not coming back cold with the squat. I mean, granted, it's warm as heck inside there. Yeah, definitely not cool in there, and the head pressure could be high. 
don't think they put any high side taps on here, which would have really been a good idea. Looks like our temperature is controlled by the thermostat, and then we have a fan cycle control, it looks like, for the fan. No pump down or anything like that. Go ahead and take that sucker out and get this thing juiced up a little bit, and see where we're at. too crazy here on this refrigerant charge just because like I said we're gonna build some sub cooling basically here it probably ain't gonna take for a lot there's four ounces there's eight ounces let's stop for a minute see where that puts us at up there just went solid yeah that's that liquid line is hot as hell this thing's dirty Dirty, you can feel it plain as day. All right, we're running about a 43 degree of app on 22. Um, it's nowhere near as hot as what it was earlier. My goodness, it was it was pretty dang hot. Where I didn't want to leave my hand on it. Uh, Side glass is completely full. Can't 100% go by that, but that's why I went so slow. I'm gonna go in there uh, inside and see what kind of temps we're getting out of it, but it's coming back nice and cold. Let's see what our super heat is. Right now we're running about 20 degrees super heat under a heavy load. That's uh, not too horribly bad. I wouldn't want to change it until it you know got down to temp, but even at that, I say we're fine there. Uh, when this thing starts getting colder, everything's going to drop, including the suction pressure and all that. I want to get some oil in that motor there. Never know when this might go out, so we're going to give it a squirt of oil here. You might think you're saving yourself some time just to find out later you're on call again when this thing goes out. So We got everything uh, back up and together there. Let's go downstairs see. <laughs> downstairs. Let's go underneath here and see what we got for temps. Pretty nice trailer. You can tell it's practically brand new. It, uh, this looks like they're just storing the food in it. They uh, got some really big semis too that they use. Oh yeah, it's starting to feel good in here. Looks like about 47 going out. And what do we got going in here? 64 and a half. So do the math. If you guys like the video and you want to see more like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That's how we build the channel up. Until next time, people, we will see you on the next one.